I'm getting a lift to the gym, guys. I don't know how to ride a bicycle, though. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> hey, guys, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. It's your girl, Kay Ganyama, probably known as Kay. I'm stalling, period. So. I'm on my way to the gym. I just left my car at the car wash, but I've joined a new gym, so I don't really know how to get to the gym from the car wash. But my car was so dirty, yo, it needed to be washed. So now, yeah, I have someone that's helping me go to the gym now. Is it far? No, it's just here. Oh, okay, cool. Where are you from? What do you mean? Like, where are you from? From Eastern Cape? From oh, Durban, originally from, from Durban. Durban. Yeah. So oh, how Sana. Long have, like, how long have you been like, inside? Like, uh, maybe about two years now. Two years? Yeah. How's Cape Town? Like, how's Cape Town? Hey, sh 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 up, sh yeah. How's that? It's a up, sh but like, how are they? Like, how are how people? Like, are, they, are they generous or are they. Yeah, they're they friendly. A lot. I used to stay in Joburg before, so. Yeah. Okay, that so was how, a how, how the cities like when you check because you've been like in the, from the three cities most like you like how are um, they, how is it, what is the difference like okay so Durban is Durban is good friendly yeah. comfortable I mean it's where yeah. I grew up so yeah. that's all I've known yeah. but it's a bit slow sure, sure, sure. and then Joburg is too fast okay <laughs> Cape Town is like what, a what is it making too fast like like Joburg like is it drugs or is it, is it people or is it I guess it's just the hustle culture, okay, like okay, people yeah, yeah. yeah, want to yeah, make it yeah, yeah. so bad and like, feel, like people you, treat each you, other badly. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. I feel you. Mm. So how's Cape Town? Is the weather? Is the people? Like otherwise, oh, oh, like is, is the vibe is, is, uh, is I think it? the energy is just great. Okay. Like, you know, people are still inspired yeah. and it's still developing like okay. quick, quick enough, okay. you know. Okay. Also, the opportunity to meet like different people. There's so many tourists here, yeah. so it's like a step into like the world, life. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think that's been my experience in Cape Town. Cape Town. Lady really hates me, hey. Like, she literally hates me. I literally came to her. She's a security guard that's sitting in the corner. I'm like, Sissy, I'm looking for the car wash. And she directs me, but she makes me walk all the way up the ramp when there's an elevator right here. I'm just like, why wouldn't she show me the elevator? Like, don't get it. And she's like, it's the same thing. And I'm like, no, literally, I'm walking on a ramp where cars drive when I could have just taken an elevator. I don't get that. I only found the car wash, but I'm actually a bit annoyed because she literally said upstairs. I went upstairs and then it's actually downstairs. This is the weirdest thing that's happened to me in a long time. Can you believe I still can't find the car wash? The sign is over there. It's not behind it. It's not in front of it. Like, what is this? I'm so annoyed. This is so weird. In any of my dolls, because I've been so confused in my whole life. It even says slippery floor. 
Guys, I've been walking here like the whole morning, literally. I'm so tired. I'm hearing swooshing sounds. Yo, uh uh. Yeah. My tongue. Oh, yeah. Rest. I'm never gonna wash my car here again, like, ever. I mean, it's my fault because I should have noted the way, but why does it have to be so complicated? <laughs> Found it, finally. Yeah, uh, uh, imagine. But at least my car is clean. going to go to um, Jetline to go and pick up the stuff that I left um, for printing this morning and I'm actually so happy it wasn't actually this morning it was like just noon I'm so happy that I actually decided to go to Jetline I just woke up this morning and just Google if they do like the type of printing that I needed and I found out that they did and when I got there they actually charged like three rand two rand less than the place that I initially went to so I'm so happy because the place that I initially went to as well was charging me well first of all to rent more second of all they were telling me that they uh, can I go here no so I just found parking here so yeah anyway in as much as like they were like more expensive they were also telling me that turnaround time like is three weeks which I thought was ridiculous like where does it take you three weeks to just print you know so yeah i'm really happy i came here check line no parking parking at one of those table didn't you make it let me just go inside and pick up my stuff <laughs> So the vlog I uploaded, remember this bonnet? It was reversible bonnet. <laughs> I stole it from her. And I love it. So if you're watching this, I love ya. <laughs> I made myself a passion fruit and lemonade. Package from Impreka. I want to show you what's inside. They have added me to their mailing list. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of what Impreka has. And I love it for me, Sana. I'm so happy to be doing more like fashion content. So anyway, they've sent me this um, Melton coat that is... On their Instagram they just posted it like on Monday I think it just dropped so this is the code I asked for it in nude I am gonna be wearing it so hopefully you guys will be seeing I hope it fits she sent me a 34 but I'm like a 36 so I really hope it fits this is the material and yeah that's what it looks like I really hope it fits ah! I'm so happy. She sent me this maxi dress. I've been seeing like a lot of it online and people kept raving about the one with the strapless um with the thin straps and then she's they've now made a maxi version of it, which I absolutely love. Like quality is giving. It's so nice and thick. They actually sent me like this maxi skirt I was wearing last week. And it is so nice and thick. Literally snatches you in all the right places. I might actually try this on for you guys. And then they also sent me this jacket. Like a shirt jacket. Jacket. <laughs> it hasn't launched yet. It's going to launch pretty soon. But I, I really love this. This is like my vibe. My, my vibe when it comes to clothing. Let me actually try these things on for you guys. So you guys can see. Quality. 
It's so good. And guys, I, it could have been a size 36, could have been a 12, but it's a 34. So see my arms. It doesn't feel uncomfortable, but I don't know. I'll see. I'll think about it. You guys let me know as well. I'm happy it has these as opposed to buttons. Just a lot. Oh! It's a lot faster. I would wear this. Plain black t shirt, black leggings, boots. Boom. Out. He's looking at me like, is my mama mad? Let me show you. <laughs> Why are you under the table? <laughs> what, what are you doing there? He's looking at me like, you like my dress? Hmm? You do? Come, come here. Come say hello. <laughs> you like my dress? You like it? <laughs> If you're like me and you don't have hips, you need something to contour the waist and give you a hips illusion. Cause did too much hips and now. Got there, but if you go you pay DJ as a bumba hips It's gonna pop a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I get my shapewear from where did I get it? Bras and things. My camera is blurry. Bras and things has the best shapewear. I love it. I'm opening up a beauty studio, so I am in the works of finalizing the services that I'm going to offer in the shop. But one of the sh uh, services that we will be offering is um, wig laundry. So I printed out these um, cards that go in the bag after you know your wig is clean, and we send it back to you. So it comes with this like sort of like thank you card, but also just um, shows what treatments or what service has been performed on your wig so it's going to be have like a little circle in what you've done whether it was a wash or a treatment or styling and yeah i think this is so cute you know i think like the most fun part about you know starting a business and starting like a new venture is just the possibilities like there's so many options and there's so many spaces for you to create and i'm having so much fun like i had so much fun creating this card <laughs> it just says wig laundry you know and it's this glossy like cardboard finish and i just love it i just feel like it just adds i'm like an attention to detail type of person so i just feel like it adds that that bit of an extra flair you know usually when i get my wigs washed like i have to make a plan for the bag you know whether it's my woolies bag or plastic bag i, w I really wanted it to feel like you've just received a new wig you know so i'm gonna repack it and you know put this card in so it's like it. Anyway, and then I also printed um, these thank you cards for um, my packages. It's so funny because I didn't have these, you know. I recently watched an unboxing and um, I saw the excitement that like this little this little card brought to someone. And I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe I don't have these. Like, you know, so I also did this. It just says, hey darling, thank you for always choosing Sax Beauty. Follow and tag us on Instagram. And then it's got Unleash Your Inner Sex. Period. I'm so excited guys <sighs> What a long journey. It's been such a long journey and a very stressful one and a very expensive one But I'm so excited to be like in the final stages of creating something that I have always dreamt of creating and it, I think it really helps, you know, even if you you find yourself in a position where you know You're not able to do the, something that you want to do at this current moment whether it's money whether it's time whether it's anything you know it really helps to prepare prepare you know like I have so many mood boards I had so many mood boards for my studio every single year I created like so many mood boards because I was just like hmm, you know this is the look and feel that I'm going for and even though like sometimes I would know that this is not what I'm doing this year but I would still have a mood board yeah you know so I love creating and even when I like soft launched my business last year which didn't really work out the way in which I wanted it to like for those of you that were wondering actually and those people that aren't really on Twitter and you know don't really know what happened to sex beauty I was obviously looking for the best supplier and in all honesty the best supplier was 
pretty expensive. I actually realized this when I was trying to figure out pricing for my clearance sale, which I'm still having a like a very hard time with right now because I look at some of the costs incurred to sort of, you know, obviously buy the product, ship the product, customize the product, package the product, and everything else. And then I look at how much profit I'm making and you know it's so crazy because if my business didn't actually fail I hate using the word fail if I didn't take a little bit of a turn <laughs> if basically my um, audience or my potential um, clients didn't like you know complain about the price I think I would have already been short like selling myself like I feel like I would have already been operating at a loss I would I would be running a business that's not very profitable and initially I thought it didn't mean much to me up until I had to um, price or reprice my longer wigs for clearance and I realized that I'm not I was not making enough profit on these wigs in any case you know and for me it felt like a passion project so it didn't really matter how much profit I was making of course I had marked up at a certain percentage but when I sit down today and you know look at everything else that's going on I'm just like I don't think I would have been happy making that amount off of something that's taking me you know so much time and, and effort and resources and you know like it just didn't make sense so I'm actually glad things work worked out that way because it's now given me another opportunity to look for a different supplier or different suppliers. I had such a hard time repricing my wigs that like even when it comes to my longer wigs, I am even deciding like not to put them up for clearance, put them on the clearance sale because if I go any lower than what I was charging before, I'm not gonna make any profit. I'm not gonna make anything off of the wigs you know so I just feel like I would rather not make anything off of the wigs and I you know to be quite honest I'm not really desperate to like get rid of the wigs because I do really believe that they're quality hair so up until you know someone walks into the studio one day and decides oh my god I love this wig and I want to buy it for that exact price then that's where I'm gonna keep it at just so I'm happy as well and I don't feel like pressured into doing something that I'm not comfortable doing and I feel like really great about that decision. But the shorter wigs, like the bobs, I they did sort of allow me a little bit more room to be flexible and like lower the price like a little bit. And I was surprised. I was actually surprised at how quickly my Elegant Lady units, which is the glueless um, long bob units, sold out after I reduced the price. I was just happy that like the people that bought the wigs also love them. So I'm happy about that. But I'm so excited at the opportunity to dream, you know. I'm so nervous. Like, <laughs> I am so nervous. It feels so surreal, but I have so much peace. Like, I have so much peace. I feel like... And it's crazy because I always say to myself, like, especially when I do things like, for example, like these little, you know, steps and these little mood boards and these little plans. Like, for example, when I walk into the studio right now, which is currently under construction, I might take you there, I might, might take you guys there next week because currently we had like a lot of plumbing work and stuff. So there wasn't really anything exciting happening, but um, yeah, I'm so excited. And like every time I walk in there, I'm just like, I can't believe I did this. I think I might be delusional. And I realized in order to be successful, you need to be delusional. Not even to be successful. But actually, I, you know what, actually, I really do feel like I'm delusional because why did I move to Cape Town? Like, I still don't think about that almost every day. I'm like, why did I move here? None of my friends are here. None of, none of my family is here. I just moved here. I moved here in a month. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, but anyway, I think delusion, I used to call it delusion, but now I just call it faith. So I think it's a good, I think it's a good thing to have. And I feel like as an entrepreneur, like as someone, as a creative, as, as a creator of something, if you want to create something, you need to be delusional. <laughs> you need to have unwavering faith that what you're doing is going to pop. Quite a bit of faith, you know, it's going to pop. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm excited it's gonna pop up it's something I've been wanting for so long it's something I've been working on for so so long and it's gonna pop it's gonna pop it needs to yeah I'm actually just gonna chill for the rest of the day probably edit this vlog I'm not sure but chill I need it I've had a long long day yeah but um, I'll see you in my next video I don't know when that's gonna be could be tomorrow could be next week I'm not sure I to not announce anything or say anything because I'm not in the business of limiting myself these days I am literally operating off of whatever I can put my hands on I'm doing it so it might be tomorrow you might see me on TikTok. You might see me on Instagram. So it's a great idea to be subscribed to most of my platforms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And a, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so, so much for all of my love bugs, my supporters, my regular regulars. I love you guys so, so much. I see all your messages. I see all your emails. I see all... I see everything and i may not respond but i definitely see them and sometimes i see them at times that i really really need them so thank you so much for all the love and support all the time i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart i really really appreciate it stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you in my next video